Have you ever wanted the Quick Launch Bar from Windows XP back in Windows 7? Well, here's how you can do that. It's really simple to do. Um, now, I know in one of my older videos on Windows XP, I showed you how to put a toolbar on the side of the window. Uh, you can't do that, so far as I found, without using extra software in Windows 7. But here's how you can make a Quick Launch Bar like you had in Windows XP. And what you're going to do is you're going to application. Uh, right click, I'm sorry, application key is what you call it when you're using the key on the keyboard. You're going to right click on a blank area of your desktop and click uh, new folder and I'm going to call this QL for quick launch and press enter. And then I'm going to hold down my control I'm going to click away so that's not highlighted anymore. I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to choose some icons I want in my quick launch bar. Um, my downloads folder, uh, Digsby, Spotify, Internet Explorer, um, and that's about it for oh, Foxit Reader and C Cleaner, and Team Viewer. Now I'm going to want to leave these on my desktop as well. I'm going to hide it later, but you know, just for general purposes, I'm going to right click on one of these that I've highlighted, leave the right mouse button held down, drag it until that QL is highlighted, and let go. It's going to pop up with this menu, and I'm going to choose Copy here. Now I can right-click on this area again. I'm going to click View, and I can actually get rid of these by taking the check out of Show Desktop Icons. And you can put any number of icons in there as you want. Now we're going to go down here to the toolbar. You're going to right click and you're going to take the check out of lock the taskbar. Then you're going to right click again. You're going to choose toolbars, new toolbar. And you're going to go to your desktop. And there's that QL we just made. And I'm going to click select folder. And you see it way over here at the end with the QL and all that. I don't want that. I want it back over the left like it was. So I'm going to hold on to this. You can kind of see where it's looks like little bumps there. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to drag it until it goes all the way over here. And see I had a Firefox pinned down here so it, it moved to the end. Now I'm going to make it look like it did before. I'm going to drag this Firefox back over here. Um, if you didn't have Firefox, if you didn't have anything down there, you can just drag the, the blank area over. Now we're going to set some options. I'm going to right click on that QL and I'm going to take out show title. And then there, I still want to make these. Yeah, you can leave it like this if you want. I don't want it like this. I'm going to right click on these. Uh, I'm sorry, on this little bumpy area here. And I'm going to take the check out of show text. So I can drag that over and show as many of these as I want. Um, and the reason I can get rid of show text is when I hover over it, it's going to tell me what it is. More than likely, I know what these icons are. If there was something I would prefer to have at the beginning, I can just click and drag it there. Um, put them in the order that I would necessarily use them, more likely. And then drag it back and show... Well, I just want to show three of them. Then I'm going to right click down here and I'm going to click lock the taskbar. So then we've got it just like it was before with our quick launch over here. Um, you can press a button and you're going to be able to load any of these programs just like you did in uh, in Windows XP. Uh, they're going to be handy. Let's say you're, you're on a web page or you have one of these programs open. You don't want to have to go back to your desktop. You simply find the program you want and you click on it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. Thank you.